You're inside the infamous Think Fast locker room where every umpire is double guessed and every punk is part of a pair. If you can match these crazy couples together, you can be a grand prize winner on... What, are you blind? No, I can see perfectly straight. <laughs> oh, in that case, Think Fast. Today on the gold team, it's Debbie and Brian. And on the blue team, Paula and Jason. They're here to play. Think Fast. The game where Christmas counts and money mounts. And now, here's the host of Think Fast, Skip Lackey. Welcome, everybody, to Think Fast. Welcome. Audience, how are we doing today? Let's hear it. Okay, great, our audience here sounds like they're doing good, and we hope everybody at home is doing really well. Let's meet our players. On the gold team, we have Brian and Debbie. Give it up. Let's hear it. <laughs> Brian tells me that he lives in New York half the year, in Florida half the year, and in New York, he's the vice president of his class and is on the student council and runs cross-country track. Um, Brian, I've always kind of been curious what does somebody on a student council actually do? We organize dances and... Um uh, have food drives for people that don't have as much as other might, us, we might have. Oh, that's great. That's, that's really wonderful. Good. And Debbie, Debbie here is quite the musician. She uh, plays clarinet, violin, taught herself how to play the piano. Wow, that is really impressive, Debbie. That's wonderful. And I understand you have an interesting pet. Yeah, an albino hamster. An albino hamster. Yeah, really red eyes. Oh, red eyes that kind of glow in the dark like yeah, the like devil that. hamster. <laughs> yeah. And you were telling me something interesting about him? Yeah, it bites the rest of my family except me. Doesn't bite you, but bites the rest of your <laughs> yeah. family. Okay, well, I'm glad we don't have any hamsters in the show today. <laughs> All right, in our blue team, we have Jason and Paula. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Jason, Jason collects foreign coins, is a dancer. He takes jazz, tap, and ballet class. And, uh, Jason, what would you like to do uh, for an occupation? Uh, when I get older? Yeah, that'd yeah, be good. Yeah, I would like to uh, be a cameraman or a director in TV shows. A cameraman or a director? Well, maybe yeah. after the show, one of our cameramen can uh, give you a couple pointers here, okay? All right. All right. And Paula has four brothers and sisters that I'm sure are probably screaming right row as we're speaking. And uh, she is a cheerleader for a basketball and a football team. And uh, um, how, how many cheers uh, do you think you know in your head? Um, a lot. A, a lot? I mean, is it hard to remember all those cheers? No. Not really hard? You s no problem remembering them? No problem. Well, you ought to do really good in the game then. All right. Good luck. Let's hear it for our teams. Here's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams will be competing in a variety of events that are designed to test both their mental ability and their physical agility. If they win an event, they earn cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at the Think Fast brain mender worth 200 bucks. The team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes and face the ultimate challenge in the locker room. So let's not take up any more time. Let's play our first event, which today is called Movie Marquees. Our two teams get these popcorn buckets full of scrambled letters. And then they have to take those scrambled letters, place them up there on their marquees here to spell out the title of a popular movie. The team to do it first correctly wins. Are you guys ready? Then think fast. Go to it. Ooh, the blue team, the blue team right off the bat, spilling them out there. You guys have to hang them up there. You have to hang the letters up there. You have to hang the letters. There's little hangers up there behind it. They're trying to spell out those words. There they go. Let's see what the gold team is doing. Oh, they think they've got the first word. They're digging through that popcorn, looking for those words. They realize one of them didn't have it. Now the blue team, oh, they both think they know what it is. They both think they know what it is. The blue team has got, got a couple of words up there. They're working on it. Let's see how the gold team is doing. Great. They've got, they've got one word, and they're trying to figure out what the other ones are. They might have made the fatal mistake of mixing up the letters from bucket to bucket. Remember, let's hear it for them, audience. Let's, let's get a little bit of encouragement. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Mix up those letters. Make up new words. If you guys mixed up the letters, you're in big trouble, but keep on trying to figure out what it is. I think the blue team is, they're working on it. They're working on it. They're working on it. Oh, now the, the gold team. 
team thinks they know what it is. There's one more left. I think there's one more word left. The goal team, this is getting close. This is getting close. Goal team wins! Goal team wins! Oh! Oh, you guys, this is great. The blue team, you guys had them all up there. You had a little trouble with the words. You got caught up on, well, you got fire and you, you had gear, which, uh, but yeah, you were having a little trouble with the, uh, the balls there. But go team, come on down here. Come on down here, you guys. You guys won the 50 bucks. Come on over here. You won the 50 bucks and you get a shot at answering the Think Fast Brain Bender worth $200. All right, today's Brain Bender is a close-up object. And what we've done is we've taken a picture of an object extremely close up, which makes it difficult to figure out what it is. So let's go take a look at it. Let's reveal a piece. piece. Ooh, you have any idea what that is? No. No idea. Okay, well, you guys won 50 bucks for this event, which means the gold has 50, the blue's not on the board yet. Let's go to our next event. Our next event is called the Absent-Minded Chef, and I want to welcome Chef Julia Childish to the Think Fast stage. Let's have a big hand for her. Welcome, Miss Childish. Thank you. You're very welcome. Miss oh. Childish went shopping today and she bought a number of things, but she got home and she's forgotten what she's going to cook. So now each of these bags over here contain the ingredients to make one meal or one dish. And Julia, baby, will pull out the items one at a time. And when you, when you guys think you know what she was going to prepare, I want you to buzz in. And if you have the correct answer, that's, you get a point. And if you don't, we'll continue the game. You guys ready? All right, so, uh, Miss Childish, take it away. Oh, well, thank you, Skip. Okay, for the first meal, we have bacon. Uh, uh, and to add with the bacon, we have some cheese. Some cheese bacon to go with cheese. the bacon. Uh, and then after that, that, we have ketchup. Ketchup will do if you don't have ketchup. Uh, okay. And then, of course, then you have to add the chopped beef. Go. Uh, a bacon and cheese hamburger. A bacon and cheese hamburger. Yes, that is correct. It's a bacon cheeseburger. Very good. Gold gets a point. All right, you guys, if you think you know it, buzz in as soon as you know the answer, okay? All right, here's our next one, Miss Childish. Uh, well, next, Skip, I have some jelly, but jams preserved and marmalade will do just as well. That's good to know. Uh, and then you have to add some peanut butter. Uh, Blue thinks they know. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich is correct. Very good. Very good. You guys are doing great at this event. Okay, the, the score is now one to one. Let's show our next uh, ingredients. Okay, Skip. Next, we have some milk. Milk? <laughs> and then after okay. the milk, we're going to have to add some butter. Right. Some butter with the milk. And butter then milk. we have salt and pepper. Salt, pepper salt, with pepper, the milk, milk and butter. butter. And of course, you would want to add potatoes. Gold. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes is correct. Very good. You guys are doing really good. Okay, the score is now two to one. Let's see our next bag of ingredients. Well, Skip, with my next bag, I have some grade A eggs. You don't want to skip. You want to get the grade A kind. Okay, okay. grade A eggs. With that, put a little cinnamon with the eggs. A little cinnamon with okay. eggs. Okay, and cinnamon then cut it. Gold. French toast. French toast. No, French toast is not correct. Hang on a second. Okay. She will she will take out the rest of the with ingredients the and you will get a shot. Add some milk. Add some milk. Cinnamon eggs. And then you would want to add a pumpkin. If you don't have a pumpkin, get the two pack pumpkin mix. It'll work just as well. All right. Put it all together in a pie shell. In a pie shell. Uh, now blue, you think you know what it is? Pie. A pumpkin pie, yes, that's oh, correct. Oh, oh, it's a close game. That means oh. the score is tied. We have one more bag left. Okay. All right, go ahead. Yep. You want to have tomato sauce. And to add with the tomato sauce, add a little mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Gold. Pizza. Uh, more specifically? Cheese pizza, pepperoni and cheese pizza. I want to be, be specific. Make an answer. Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza is correct. Yeah. Gold wins. Oh. Yeah. Pepperoni pizza is correct. Gold wins. Come on down here. Come on down here. Great. You win 50 bucks for your team, and you get the next shot at the brain bender, which is worth 200 bucks. All right? So I want to remind you that it's a close-up object. Let's reveal a piece. Do you have any idea no, what that I is? No, I don't. No idea. Okay, well, we're going on to our next event. The score is gold 100 and blue 
Oh, uh, he's not on the board yet. Let's go. Our next event is called Wipeout. And what we have here is we have two huge gunked up poster boards behind me. And uh, they are so gunked up, you can't even tell who the poster is. So what our, our two teams have is they have a supply of sponges. And what they have to do is pick up the sponges, throw them at the gunked up poster board to try to wipe off as much of the gunk as they can to figure out who the celebrity is underneath. Okay, you guys ready to throw? All right, ready? Think fast, go ahead. They're tossing those things. We got gold, he's got the, the middle part. Hope they don't run out of sponges there. Be careful not to run out of sponges. When you think you know the answer, buzz in. As soon as you think you know the answer, buzz in. Oh, this is a messy one. There's, oh, they think they know. Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano, wait. Is Melissa Milano correct? Let's see. Let's see if it's correct. Yes, it is Melissa Milano. Very good. All right. Let's see. Let's check out the gold here. You guys just had some eyes show in there and a little bit of the body. The blue got it, got a lot of the face, so they got it. But come on over here. Come on over here, guys. You guys got the 50 bucks for the event, and you're all wet, and you get a shot at the brain bender. And today's brain bender is a close-up object, so let's reveal a piece. Oh, that's a tough one. You guys have any idea what it is? A space alien? A space alien. No, it's not a space alien. But you still won the 50 bucks, which means the score is now gold 100, blue 50. You guys are only 50 points behind, so it's anybody's game. We'll be right back with more things fast after this, so don't go away. Welcome back to Think Fast. I want to remind everybody what the score is. Gold has 100 and blue has 50. And in the second round, all dollar values are doubled. Each event is now worth 100 bucks a piece. We still have the brain bender coming up, so there's still a lot of cash to be won. Let's go to our next event, which is called Alphabetically Speaking. What I'm going to do is give these two players a category and a letter, and such as, uh, say, boys' names that start with the letter A. And what they would do is, we're going to have a toss-up. They would buzz in. And whoever wins the right to answer first would give me a name, a boy's name which starts with A, and then we'll go back and forth from person to person until one of them can't answer another one. And then the, uh, the other team would get the point, and each, each uh, category is worth a point. So let's go ahead to our first category. The first category is boys' names beginning with R. Go. Ryan. Ryan. Blue? Um, Raven. I'm sorry? Um, Ra Raven. Raven? Judges, we're going to give Raven? No, Raven does not count. The judges did not allow that one. Okay. Uh, Gold gets a point. Let's move into our next category. Girls' names beginning with L. Gold. Lauren. Lauren is right. Lisa. Lisa's good? Leslie. Leslie's right? Laura, I mean, um... Lisa? Okay, you took too long there. All right, Gold's got two points. Here's your next category. Geographical places, cities, or countries, beginning with A. Go. Africa. Africa, good. Asia. Asia is good. All right, go. Acapulco. Acapulco. Acapulco is, is a, uh, yes, that's a city or a country. Okay, great. Blue. Three seconds. Okay, okay, you're, you're having a little trouble there. Okay, the gold's got three. Let's go to our next one. Articles of clothing beginning with S. Blue. Skirt. A shirt, good. Scarf. Scarf? Skirt. Skirt. Three seconds. Oh, okay, okay, that's uh, blues on the board. Here's our next category. Colors beginning with B. Blue. Blue. Blue is good. Beige. Beige, okay. Three Black. Seconds. Black, good, okay. Brown. Brown. Three seconds. Ooh, okay, Gold gets that one. The judges say it's the end of the game. Let's see what the score is. Gold's got four, Blue's got one. Come on down here. Come on down here, Debbie. Come on down here, Debbie. All right. You won 100 bucks, and you get a shot at the brain bender. And I want to remind everybody, it's a close-up object. Let's take a look at it. Reveal a piece. Any 
idea what that is. No, I don't. No guess. Okay, great. Well, the score is now gold 200, blue 50. We're going to our next event, so let's go. This event is called Easiest Pie. And as you can see, what we have right in front of me on center stage are two giant pies that have been cut up into various pieces. Uh, let's just see what our pie tastes like today. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Rutabaga Brussels sprout. My favorite. I just love rutabaga Brussels sprout. You guys just don't know what you're missing. All right, now what our players have to do is they're going to be, uh, they must put the correct combination of pieces on their plate to recreate a perfect pie, all right? Blue will come in, and blue will get the blue pieces, and gold will take the blue piece, the gold pieces. First team to build a total pie wins. You guys ready? Think fast. Go to it. Oh, this is a messy one. The gold is going, they have to build it with the correct pieces. Sometimes they don't fit. Let's see how they're doing. Gold, no, that's not correct. That's not, that's not all the way. No, that's not all the way. You gotta make a totally perfect pie. There's a, there's a piece missing. There's still a piece missing. Keep going. Oh, this is a messy one. Keep going. That's not correct. Find the correct amount. Find the correct combination of pieces. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. No, what are they trying to do? Let's see, let's check the blue. No, that's not correct, blue, that's not correct. Let's see what the gold's doing. Yes, gold wins, gold wins. Wow, wow, come on down here, guys. Very good. You guys won 100 points. Whoa, be careful there. Be careful. You guys won 100 points, and you get a shot at the brain bender. I want to remind everybody, it's a close-up object. Let's reveal a clue. Spoon? Is it a spoon? Can we be more specific? A piece, a measuring spoon. A measuring spoon. Oh, no, it's not a measuring spoon, which means, to, hang on here, hang on. Since you guys didn't get it, we're still going to, su we're going to sudden death brain bender. So let's come over here to these lockouts over here, and we'll, we're going to reveal the pieces one at a time. All right, come on over here. Come on, there we go. Get right behind there. All right. Now, I want to remind everybody that this is worth 200 bucks. And what we're going to do is we're going to reveal a piece one at a time, and when the teams think they know what it is, they'll buzz in. If they get it incorrectly, we'll give a shot to the other team to take a guess, and if they don't get that then, then we'll go back to the brain bender and reveal another clue. Okay, let's go to the brain bender. Let's reveal another piece. Who do you think they know? A silver spoon. A silver spoon. No, that's not right. Gold, do you have a shot? Do you have any idea what it is? A ladle. No, it's not a ladle. We're looking for something very specific. Let's go back to the brain bender, and we'll reveal another clue. Any idea what it is? Blue. Ice cream scooper. An ice cream scooper. That is, is that correct? Yes, it is. That's correct. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at the brain bender. Let's take a look at it. Yes, it is an ice cream scooper. Blue wins the 200 bucks for the brain bender, but since that was our final score, it looks like the gold has got 300, the blue has got 200. Gold wins! They're going to the locker room! Oh, very good! That is great, guys! Oh, this was a tight one. This was a very, very tight game. It was so close, 250 to 300. Gosh, you guys almost had it. But I'll tell you what, as far as I'm concerned, nobody goes away empty-handed. So we're going to give you the cash that you won, which means you guys get to split the 250 bucks between you and some great prizes that Henry J is going to tell us about right now. Paula and Jason, you'll be grooving with the Switch It AM FM radio. Experience Boomball Audio you can wear anywhere. Featuring a round clear shell, multicolored parts, mosaic designs, and necklace antenna from Switch It Incorporated. And Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all-stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you'll need. Neat and nifty stuff, huh, Skip? Yeah! Sounds great, Henry J. All right, we're here with, with, uh, with Debbie and Brian, and they've won the right to go to the locker room on that mad dash for cash and prizes, though. So don't go away. We'll be right back. We're here in the locker room with Brian and Debbie, and they have earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes. So let me tell you how we play. Behind me, we have 15 lockers, and inside those lockers are seven matching pairs. 
We're going to give you one minute on the time clock, and what you have to do is take turns matching up as many pairs as possible. A locker door will open up, and whoever or whatever pops out, you guys have to find the mate. The first four matches are worth a hundred bucks a piece, and the next three are worth these great prizes that Henry is going to tell us about right now. What can we win? Eddie and Brian, you could ride off on a Magna bike with the power to climb and accelerate. Bikes for today. Why not try the next generation of bicycles? Magna, the new name on the street. And when you're through styling, you can do some dialing. With its neon glowing softly or flashing on incoming calls, Roxanne's brilliant good looks add style to every telephone conversation and a glow to any room by Cecina and Debbie and Brian. If you make all seven matches, you're going to Palm Springs, California, to the Oasis Water Resort Villa Hotel, 110 luxury villas, minutes from shopping on Palm Canyon Drive with admission to beautiful Oasis Water Park. Some big-time bodacious stuff. Good luck. Oh, they're sitting here telling me they want to go to Palm Springs, and I have to warn you, though, that behind one of those lockers is the dreaded red herring. The red herring is a character that has no match at all. So if you think you found him, run over here and yank on this herring handle, which will close up the lockers and allow your partner to continue making matches. Okay, let's show the audience at home who the big filet of solo is today. Okay, the audience at home knows, but we don't know out here. All right, so let's open up a locker for Brian, see who he has to match. <laughs> On stormy nights when it starts to rain, the master sends me out for grain. Okay. But if today he was acting kind of weird. I came back with the grain, but he's Okay, scared. okay, you're looking for the mad scientist. You're looking for the mad scientist. Let's have us one minute on the clock. Ready? Think fast. Come on, let's hear some turkey. Yeah, there it is. Plug it up, plug it up. Plug it up. Plug it up. Plug it up. Okay, let's open up another locker. You're looking for the referee. You're looking for the referee. You're looking for that ball. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, you guys had a little trouble. Come on over here, Brian. You guys got you guys got four matches. You got four matches. So uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, you guys did a great job. And this is Skip Lackey saying, remember, if you don't have time to think twice, think fast. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.